Howard Hannum, H-A-N-N-U-M, and I'm a downwind resident of a nearby community. I'm a small farmer from Sydney Center, New York, which is approximately 51 miles from here and more within the, the jet stream, the downwind jet stream, than Scranton, Pennsylvania. And certainly in the downwind jet stream of Susquehanna, PA. In the wake of the explosion that took place on March 29th, and considering the party involved in this permit application, I think the DEP needs to rethink its position and policy on permitting this site for Williams Cabot. With numerous accidents and a record of showing blatant disregard for PUC and DEP assessments, and a track record of disregarding regulated authority in Susquehanna County is not ready for another Williams Cabot compressor station. If the DEP plans to move forward this with this application, I would like to see implemented a more strict policy along the same lines as the April 17th EPA updated clean air compliance for all future Marcellus Shale drilling and use the guidelines for this site and all future Williams sites. The DEP needs to demand an aggregate environmental cumul cumulative impact assessment. The public would like to see a new SOP for on-site maintenance. The public would also like to feel assured that a revamped SOP and training policy is in place for all on-site employees in regard to accidents. While one piece of equipment may come in under the limit for HAP and VOCs and greenhouse gases, it's the cumulative effect of all the pieces that is bringing harm to our infants and seniors. Mannings and Hadlicks already have very high methane numbers. And when you add in Cane Road, Teal, Vathrop, White, Central, Corbin, and Zick, you have a toxic mix that is just unacceptable with downwind residents. Please bring the air quality standards up to 2008. Please move the hard line on equipment placement to three quarters of a mile. Please add more inspections to this site. Please add a training and a thorough SOP for any off-site employees that may have emergency access in the absence of regulars. And finally, a good neighbor policy would be to curtail all permanent permitting on this site being requested by Williams Cabot until a thorough review of all the reports and inspections has taken place. The public would also request that a panel or a committee be started with local citizens represented for the decision-making process in any Williams Cabot laser gathering in Susquehanna County. You have allowed Williams to have free reign across northern Pennsylvania at the public's expense with pipelines that leak and well casings that crack and house compressor stations that explode. Williams has been a disaster. We have seen methane migration ruining the drinking water of countless families and the DEP's response seems to be the same every time. No response, nothing. As a downwind resident just across the state line in New York, we are breathing in just as much and sometimes more of Williams emissions. Susquehanna County has the second most permitted wells in Pennsylvania, second only to Bradford County, which is right next door. There is more greenhouse gas in northern Pennsylvania than Binghamton and Syracuse combined, according to a study at Cornell and Penn State. Williams is the number one representative for that statistic. Please show a good neighbor policy and delay the permitting on this application until Williams promises to conform to the stricter regulations that are being proposed here tonight. Thank you so much.